Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. A real gypsy caravan. I don't see many of those nowadays. Yes, yeah, very quaint. One feels so sorry for the child, though. Such a grubby little thing. Mum, she put her tongue out at me. Take no notice of her prudence. She doesn't know any better. I wonder where they're going. Catching up with the other lot, I should think. They're camping in the Admiral's orchard. Oh, doesn't he mind? He always lets them stay there. Very strange man, the Admiral. Oh, here's the wagon. I was beginning to get worried. I wonder how she manages at all at her age. Mm. I reckon she'd be under if she's a day. <laughs> Lives in a world that's dead and gone, that one. And bringing up the child the same way. Just as well as someone to bring up the child. We couldn't manage another. Well, I'm sure we couldn't, what with the twins. <laughs> and Boyle. Makes you wonder how long she can keep going at that age. Yeah. Nice here, Gran. Yes, Kizzy. It's nice here. Peaceful. Like things used to be in the old days. A good place, this is. or I'll lamb you. Do you want people to think you're dirty? Gran, look! That's Admiral Twist. He's up at the big house. This is his land. Will he turn us off? Oh, no. No, he's a real gentleman. Very good to our people. Don't suppose you remember when we was last here? On your babe you were then. I've been coming here on and off, as long as I can remember. Good day, sir. Good day, Mrs. Lovell. Shush, dear. Uh, Loomis said you'd be along. I'm glad you arrived safely. Thanks be to God. It is no joy to travel the roads these days. Is that the same little girl? Yes, sir. Kizzy. She's grown, hasn't she? How time passes. Well, I hope you'll all have a very happy Christmas here. 
Thank you, sir. Help, help us, walk boy. Same to you. Good. Gran? What is it? Did you say he took his hat off to you? He's a gentleman. Like I t told you. T told you. <laughs> you all right? Mm. Mm. Yes, love. It's just my old chest playing up again. It's always worse in winter. Admiral, sir. Enemy approaching on the starboard bow, Peters. Oh. Stand by to repel borders. Aye, aye, sir. Morning, Mrs. Cuthbert. May we come in for just a moment? This is Mrs. Blunt, the new teacher at the school. Her husband is a social worker, you know. How do you do? How do you do? Um, we, we don't want to trouble the Admiral. Oh, no, no, no. We just want a brief word with him. The Admiral don't receive no visitors. Oh. You see, Mildred, just as I told you, even if the Admiral wishes to behave like a hermit, eh? I think we are entitled to... Uh, to lay a complaint. Uh, we're worried about those gypsies. Well, we don't wish them any harm, of course. Well, certainly not. In fact, I have no objection at all, personally. Yeah. It's just that people in the village do feel... Well, you know what I mean. No, ma'am, I don't. Oh, well, it's just that... Well, they're not very hygienic, well, by our standards. And it is most inconvenient to have to lock one's door, even if one leaves the house for five minutes, for fear of, um, uh, pilfering. Or even worse. I'm surprised to hear that, ma'am. They've never given us any trouble. Very quiet and respectable, if I may say so. Quiet? Respectable? And I'm quite sure the Admiral will not send them away. I'll tell him you called. Morning, Mrs. Cuthbert. Mrs. Blunt. Good work, Peters. Some yeah. nice broadsides there, smack on target. Oh, and uh, speaking of gypsies, uh, uh, we must send them down a couple of chickens for Christmas. Uh, uh, put a few oranges in for the girl. Oh, and a uh, uh, bag of oats for the horse. Well, you know the sort of thing. Aye, aye, sir. How's it shaping, Matt? Pretty well, sir. He'll be ready for the training stables come the spring. Yes. Uh, I'll be sorry to see him go. Good boy. Same thing every year. Why doesn't he put a new 
tape in. You don't have new carols for Christmas, you have old ones. All right, I suppose. The kids. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Nothing. Yes, you were. Listening to the little people. <laughs> you won't find any in there. Hey! Let me tell you, fortune, sweetheart. No, no. Oh, you... Oh, you've had a hard life, haven't you, love? Oh, but there's better times coming. I can see it here. Let's come inside, shall we? Won't take a moment. So there I stood in my bathing costume. <laughs> <laughs> it was all red. <laughs> And this policeman was walking down the road, <laughs> and so was I. <laughs> you were there, what do you think you were? No, incredible. No, no. <laughs> you didn't do any help. Hey, what's the matter with you? Hey, hey, you remember that time when you fell down? You were no help at all. <laughs> yes, he was. I was in bloomers down the river and eat, honestly. And it was a poor man. I'm going to start his shooting. <laughs> They're talking of moving on, Kitty. When? Soon? Which way are we going? I got something to tell you, love. I'm not moving on anymore. Not moving on? I'm getting too old. I've got to face it sooner or later. And it might as well be now, because this is a nice place. I want to stay here for the rest of my days. Alone? I'll be all right. They'll come back to see me from time to time. You'll have to go with them. No. I'll have a word with them Smiths. No use asking the Doles. They've got three kids already. Besides, they're talking of going in brick. It's true, love. They're hoping to get a house and settle down so as the kids can go to school regular and that sort of thing. But I don't want... The Smiths will keep going yet a while because they've only got the baby to look after, so maybe... I don't want to go with them. If you're staying, so am I. Bless you, love, but... Someone's got to look after you. No, no. It's you that's got to be looked after. I'm not going. I'm staying here with you and Joe for... Ever. There's no such thing as forever, child. I'm not going, so there. Come on, boy, oh, get your move on. <laughs> Are you sure you'll be all right, Gran? Of course I will. You've got your work to do. Yeah, come on, Ma. Hi, Kizzy. See you, Gran. They've gone all hours. <laughs> oh, 
Dizzy, who makes me dizzy. <laughs> Kizzy, dizzy, dizzy, kizzy. Now it's just you and me and Joe. Admiral's out in the paddock, watching his horses. I've spoken to him. He says we're welcome to stay here as long as we like. I'm glad. Real happy here, aren't you? It won't be easy looking after ourselves. I can make bunches, can't I? To sell them in the village. Yes, love, of course. No harm in that. But don't you give offence to no one. We don't want any trouble. You behave proper. Remember, you're a real Romany, not just any riffraff on the road. I know that. I'm a lovel like you. That's it, child. You be proud of it, always. Bless you, sweetheart. here. I thought all you gypsies had gone. Please, they'll bring you luck. That is silly superstition, child. Come inside. Have the others left you behind? Answer me. I'm staying here with my gran, my great, great, great gran. Staying? In the Admiral's orchard? That's right, Mum. In that dirty old caravan. We saw it this morning. It's a wagon. What? A wagon, not a caravan. And it's not dirty, cos we keep it clean. All right, all right. How long are you going to stay there? Well? Forever. You mean permanently? Well, in that case, you must go to school. Don't go to school? Huh. Hush, darling. How old are you? I'm as old as I am. Well, there's no need to be rude. Tisn't rude. It's what my gran says. My gran says people that ask questions that are rude. Let me go! Well, it's high time that child were taught manners. If nothing else, for her own good. Yes, do come in. I'd just like to speak to him for a moment. Oh, hello, Mildred. Hello. <coughs> oh, good afternoon, Mr. Blunt. Mildred tells me you're hoping to move into your new house next month. Yes, that's right. Oh, that will be a relief, won't it? We've been very happy here. It was kind of Olivia to put us up. Well, of course it is. In such a little cottage. However, what I came about is the gypsies. They've gone, haven't they? Not all of them. The old woman is still there, with a child. Oh, yes, I've seen the child. Such a little mite. Not that little. She ought to be at school. Ah. Oh. 
I suppose we have to interfere. I mean, if they want to live their own lives... Olivia, it... we cannot leave a helpless child to be brought up like an animal. Well, I'm sure the gypsies have taught her, in their own way. They certainly have. No, oh, of course, you're, you're quite right. I must put in a report. <clears throat> What's my job? Oh, good. That is a weight off my mind. I'm sure in the long run the child will be so much happier. Grand, two gentlemen coming. Good morning, Miss, um... Mrs... Lovell is the name. Mrs. Lovell. Lovely warm fire you have. What do you want? Uh, I'm from the social services department. Oh? And this gentleman is a schools inspector. My friends come to my notice, Mrs. Lovell, that your granddaughter should be attending school. No. 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 So, that's the position, Mrs. Lovell. I'm afraid we have to insist. I see. A lady in the village, Mrs. Cuthbert, sends these for you. What is it? Some clothes for the little girl to wear. Uh, Mrs. Cuthbert's prudence is about the same age, so they should fit near enough. Very kind, I'm sure. But our children don't wear other people's clothes. Thank you very much. Oh, I realise that, Mrs. Lovell, but... Uh, well, these might be more suitable, perhaps. For school, I mean. Like the other children were. It's no use taking on like this. You've got to go if they say so. They could send me to prison if you don't. Or take you away from me. Put you in care, as they call it. Here, you have a sip, love. I'll go and get Joe's supper. It won't be that bad. You'll meet other children. Maybe they're right. Maybe you ought to learn their ways. I told you the doors are going in brick. Soon they'll all do it, and the old ways will be gone forever. Yes, love. You'd better do as they say. Are you Kizzy Lovell? Welcome to the school, Kizzy. I'm sure you'll make a lot of friends here. Oh, there's a bell for classes. Come with me. on it tomorrow.
this is your nurse. That's Prudence Cuthbert. We call her Prude. And this is Mary. They'll look after you. Now, wait there a moment, children. I shan't be long. Diddy Coy. <laughs> <laughs> 